hope that works. Hey everyone, welcome back to Bite Sized EDU. I'm Presley, and today we're going to be talking about this really cool thing called Circuit Playground from Adafruit. So if you guys haven't heard of Adafruit already, it is so amazing. It is a really cool company run by Lady Ada, who designs and sells a lot of these really, really cool things for the maker movement. And if you haven't heard of the maker movement, it's basically a bunch of people um, coding stuff and then giving it a physical form and making it do stuff. And it is really, really cool. I actually haven't worked with the maker movement before. I've coded for a while. I'm actually taking Harvard's Intro to Computer Science class. But I've never really given it a physical form and made it do something until now. And this was a fantastic introduction to the maker movement. And I'd highly recommend it to anyone who wants to start and try it out. So Adafruit reached out to us a while ago and asked if we wanted to do a few things together. And um, we obviously said, of course, after we looked at their stuff and were absolutely blown away by it. Um, and then they asked us what we wanted and we didn't really know because it all seemed so cool. So we just told them to send us something and they decided to send us the circuit playground as well as a lot of the materials needed to build the light paintbrush, which is really, really cool. So that is what I'll be showing you guys today but I'm sure I'll be showing you guys a lot more stuff in the future because this little thing is really, really, really amazing. So this is basically, it's very small, but it is all you could want in a maker movement object. It has so many things. I'm going to read them off of the website just because there's so much that I'm afraid I'll probably forget something. It has 10 mini NeoPixels, which are these little LEDs. You can see them here. Uh, the demo is running on this one. And each of them lights up. And you can actually tell them what color you want them to light up to be. So it's not like this is the red one and this is the yellow one. They all have different colors and you can change them. And these are really, really cool. You can also buy strips of them online. Uh, and we're totally going to use these in a few cosplays coming up soon, just because they're so useful and so lightweight. And then they have a motion sensor, temperature sensor, light sensor, sound sensor, speaker, push buttons, a switch, and eight alligator clip friendly input and output pins. And it is really, really fantastic, all of the stuff that you can see here. So as you can imagine, there are a million things you can build with just the stuff that I have here. It's so powerful. There's so much coding you can do with it. But they sent us this stuff for the light paintbrush, and that is what I'm going to be making for you guys today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is upload the code. They have a way to download the code for the Circuit Playground light paintbrush on their website. So I've already downloaded it, I've already opened it up, so I'm just going to hit the upload button and wait for it to upload to it. You can see it's uploading right now. And it just made the noise that it's telling me it is in the process of uploading. And I think it just uploaded. So here is my potentiometer and we need a yellow, red, and black cable. And we're just going to hook these up to this. The yellow one goes in the middle, and the red and black ones go on either side. So you traditionally do black for ground and red for power, and yellow for the other thing. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to put black in ground. I have the potentiometer on, and when I turn it, it should. Yep! And it actually has this really cool, it does have a tilt sensor on it. So when I tilt it, it changes color from blue to green. It should come red in a couple seconds to red, green, blue, then up to yellow, and back down to red. Uh, and this is really cool and really useful for light painting because if you went like this, you would change all the colors. And also, if you have no clue what I'm talking about when I say light painting, it's when you have a long exposure shot on your camera in a dark location with holding a light thing. It could be a flashlight or a light paintbrush. And it records that and basically makes it into a painting. We'll do a couple of those in a second. But first, I wanted to show you uh, some of the ways you can alter the code. 
So one of the things that I wanted to show you is when I was just first trying to take a look at the code and make sure I understood it, uh, I changed which sensor pin the yellow cable is going to be on. So right now it's on 10. I'll just turn the brightness down so you don't have to look have the lights glaring in your eyes while you're looking at this. Uh, so the first one is 10. And we are going to be moving it to port 9, but you can move it to 12, 6, wherever. Um, but I'm going to move it to 9 just for simplicity's sake. So the first thing, I'm actually going to move the cable to 9. But now that it's on 9, it doesn't work because the code doesn't think that it's supposed to be using 9. It thinks it's supposed to use 10. So I'm just going to go in here and change the sensor pin variable to a 9 and then upload it and wait for it to do that. That takes a second. And here it is. And now our potentiometer works. And it's just on a different pin. Uh, that is relatively simple and not um, the hardest thing to do since it's just changing a variable's um, value. And now, I'm going to do something which is kind of selfish, but it's fine, and that is to take the potentiometer off completely, because the potentiometer um, has a bunch of cables holding it on, and it gets in the way sometimes, as well as since we haven't soldered them, it falls off a lot too. So we're just going to take it right off. But now you see that I've taken it off, it's completely dark and not working at all. So I have to go into the code and edit this, and take out where, oh, I'll just comment out so I can add it back easier, um, and get rid of the potentiometer thingy. Where are you? There we go. Comment that out. I think I commented out the right thing. Let's hope for the best. Yeah! I commented out the right thing, and it's back on, and it's back tilting and working completely fine, but much more lightweight. Another really cool thing about the Circuit Playground is that I upload the programs directly to the Circuit Playground. So I can unplug it from the computer, and it still has the program on it, so I'm going to plug it into this battery. It has a bunch of really cool batteries. This one is rechargeable, that's why I like this one a lot, but it has some battery packs as well. And I'm just going to plug it into that using the wrong, not using the wrong port, I don't think. Wait, hold on, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Nope, did it right. And it still works perfectly fine, but it's plugged into a battery, so it's not always attached to the computer, which is another reason why it's really great for cosplay, because you can have it just in your clothes or props or whatever and it still stays here and you just have to recharge the battery. That's it, and it all works, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and do some light paintings. So let's start off with just doing a random pattern to see what it will do. So since we got that working, I'm gonna be fancy and draw some shapes. draw a heart. Okay, grand finale, I am going to try and write my name. I hope that works. So that is painting with light as well as a really cool circuit playground. I hope you guys learned something in this video because I sure learned a lot while making these. And make sure to buy your own circuit playgrounds and stuff like that. Adafruit has so many cool things available on their store. There'll be a link in the description where you can check that out. But yeah, it was just so amazing. Adafruit is such an amazing company. Thank you so much to Adafruit and Lady Ada. And also Lady Ada is like one of my new heroes now. She's fantastic as well as I love her namesake, Ada Lovelace. 
Um, so yeah, everyone there is fantastic. It's so cool. And I definitely think that this has been a really great introduction to the maker movement. And I'm sure you guys will be seeing a lot more of this on this channel with more tutorials on what we've done, as well as on our other channels, um, especially Act Out Games for cosplays and anything else I can think of to do with these really, really amazing and little machines with so, so much potential. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press that subscribe button to see more videos like this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!